what is the degenerated this disease so uh, this cogenic pains uh, refers to the pain that uh, is arising from the skin cell so this cogenic disease pathology was not entirely related to aging of uncertain uh, etiology that may cause acute or chronic low back pain uh, so we have these intervertebral discs and pathologies of this disc uh, on different mechanisms can lead to pain. And this is quite common in the population. However, quite severe. Um, and uh, how to see it? The best modality is the MRI. The best modality is the MRI. However, also uh, the CT scan uh, are relatively frequently done just because the CT scans are far cheaper and far more available, far faster to do. Um, and what we can uh, see, uh, in case of this disease, we also quite frequently see the vacuum phenomenon. Vacuum phenomenon is this black hole, yes, because there is some nitrogen uh, in this area, we have some gaze uh, in such uh, malformed, uh, malfunctioning disc. Uh, and this is just the way how uh, we can see it. Uh, what is the disc herniation? The disc herniation has been defined as localized displacement of the disc. Yes, so we have a disc and it is, is displaced in some direction. Yes, and it can be in different directions. Yes, so we can uh, it can be through the circumference of so to the sides, to the front, to the back, um, and uh, it can be also up or down. And in these cases, uh, this is called the Schmoll node if it's up or down, yes? So you can see this is up, uh, and we have the small nodes. Yes, the small nodes are very, very common, and they are not uh, very problematic. They're not good, but not so very problematic also. Um, here we can see some protrusion of the disc, here. Uh, so this disc is protruding, is pushing onto the spinal cord, and it can lead to severe symptoms because of it. Uh, pain and others also. Uh, okay. Uh, and of course, uh, when the disc is pushing onto the spinal cord, it leads to the uh, spinal stenosis. Uh, that is uh, relatively um, dangerous. Okay, thank you very much.